KFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the 11 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network uh, market update. Dow's down 240 at 34,072 on this Wednesday, October the 6th. And we're looking at struggling. It is making higher highs, higher, sorry, higher lows in the very short term. But until it's trading at 34,061 right now, until it's trading in the 34,000, uh, 350s and then 34,590, 34,600 over the next uh, three, four sessions. If it's able to do that, that's a positive, and then it can have a kind of a rectangle, a second arch formation. But wow, if it takes out the 33,800 support in the next day or two, that is very bad. S&P right now is also struggling. It is down at 23 at 4322. It's come back quite nicely, actually, from the low of the day, but really struggling. Key support, uh, just in real short term by the end of the day, must hold 4,300. Uh, 4, and on the upside, if it's able to get to the 4,342 level, that'll be good action, at least intraday. Looking at the QQQ, this is not bad. It's down just 32, uh, down 27 actually cents. At 357.11 is the index 100. It too needs to get a real good spark to the upside, up into the 3.5. 890 to 35920 area because wow if it takes 3355 support out intraday that's not going to be good IWM the Russell 2000 uh, very weak today is down 282 I uh, got the arch formation don't like that gold is trying to hold steady it is uh, now unchanged at 1761 if gold in the next few days is able to suddenly pop because of market uncertainty international econ economic uncertainty gold finds a place and un unlike bitcoin it just starts its own little move to the upside it needs to get to the 1778 1783 level close there and that'll be a good sign to say yep it can rally if you're talking about bitcoin Wow, what a move to the upside. Huge, up 3,425, 55,055. One of the reasons why we kept a core position, even though we've taken real good profits uh, from the entry point around about uh, 12,400 some time ago. Um, right, a trading at 55,055. This is only, I really have to call this a leg B in the week, in the daily chart, leg C in the, in the monthly. Still very good. Let's look at crude oil. Crude oil is finally pulling back a little bit. It is down $1.33. We've had a spectacular move. It's raised the base of support. It's at 77 and a half. Base of support is in the 74 to 73 area at the shorter term. And the TLT is trying to rally. That's the human term. Yep, trade Treasury bond fund. Stay tuned. Larry Presidente is coming up. Should be a wonderful show as always. Great programming here at TFNN. Check out both the former daily newsletter. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.